Father Jason Adams is going over the edge of the Manger Building in downtown Savannah. On Friday the 13th of December, will be one of the first ones to go to kind of unofficially kick off the event and kind of bless it. St. Nick will follow the Padre down the wall. It's going to support the kids that don't have the support. As scouts, that's our job is to help those who can't help themselves. Eddie Wilson's doing it. I know how safe it is, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Now, I'd be lying if I didn't say I won't have sweaty palms underneath the uh, leather gloves. You can count Paul Meyer in. My son has done this, and I want to prove to him that I'm tougher than he is. And Pat O'Connor says it's not nearly as scary as other things he faces. It's not nearly as stressful as going in the courtroom, which I do on a regular basis. Jessica Pettigo and Michael Butler are leading the team to toss Seacrest CEO David Pattison over the edge. And I think the community is going to pay a lot of money to see that happen. Hopefully he'll be the highest dollar earner to go over the edge. We know there's a lot of people who'd like to toss him over. Dee Herman's going over the edge because the Manger is her building. The Boy Scouts and this building were started and founded at about the same time. And Tom Carter's spearheading the event but is also likely to scale the side multiple times. Like a 99-year-old woman could go over the edge, it's completely safe. <laughs> the project is called Over the Edge, and it gives participants the opportunity to have a once-in-a-lifetime experience to Spider-Man their way down the side of the eighth highest building in the city of Savannah. Just $1,000, and you get to have an extremely one-of-a-kind, over-the-edge adventure. All of the people gathered at the top of the Manger are there because they believe in the Boy Scouts and what scouting can do for inner city kids. That's what the fundraiser's about, providing opportunities for boys who might never know the joy of the great outdoors interlaced with American values. To the boy, I think the experience means the first opportunity to go sleep under in a tent under the stars, uh, to be rained on. Uh, I also think that opportunity for that young man is to get away from his home, to get out and see what nature is, and, and, and a lot of these kids don't get that opportunity. I think the other thing the boy is looking for is adventure. And when scouting, when you have the opportunity to go whitewater rafting or a 50 mile hike, and people start thinking about that, that's what the boy looks at. But for the parent, and for scouting in general, we look at it as an opportunity to teach that young man, to give the kids an adventure, and then turn right around and teach them the values that we're looking for, for hopefully to keep our nation strong. On Friday, December 13th, yep, Friday the 13th, everybody's invited to watch an ever-growing group of Boy Scout advocates do something that no one in Savannah has ever done before. Now it's my turn to give back to people who don't have that chance, don't have somebody behind them, lifting them up, pushing them forward, giving them something better to do. No other organization teaches duty to God and country and duty to self and others uh, like the Scouts. I have two sons that are Eagle Scouts and I've seen the benefits that scouting has brought to kids and confidence, what it means to them um, after they get out of scouting with jobs, with school, and, and just the confidence that scouting instills in boys. And we want the opportunity of Boy Scouts to be available for all boys. If you're inclined to rappel down a building, or if you'd rather just help the Boy Scouts out from a safe spot on the ground, go to otesavannah.org or call 912-927-7272. I'm gonna love it. It's something I tell my grandkids.